So you see we got right here some large setup gas mines some fun time stuff oh yeah gotta love it so what are you gonna be doing here andy setting up some fuel bombs there we go here are our lift charges oh look at that in the glass it's actually a pet plastic bottle okay that we seal with marine um, a two-part epoxy. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that right there, yeah. And this bottle will not deteriorate in the gas. So this little puppy is for the little four-inch mine. Okay. This guy is for the six-inch mines. And then this oh, bad this boy guy. is for Look the this bad boy. What do you think the weight on that is? Um, about half a pound. That's bad, but look at this guy right here. This thing is huge. What's the size on this? It's a 12-inch diameter. Whew! Now that's going to be a gas mine. Yeah. Now, the other thing we do is we actually add titanium in the lift. Can you see it there? Oh, yeah, you can see the colorization in there is actually titanium. Yeah, it's actually little titanium spheres, they call it. Okay. Or balls. And what that's going to do is the titanium is going to be lit and go up through the fuel to make sure everything lights. Ah. So it virtually guarantees a full ignition. Okay. You're going to cover aluminum foil after, I suppose. Correct. Make sure no uh, stuff set off. <laughs> So these have an actual hook on the bottom to hold your charge down. Okay. Zip tie it? Yeah. I mean, I found that's the easiest way, especially in the little ones. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, it holds in there nicely. Yeah. That's not moving. That's nice. And then... Um, I'm going to go through and put all the lift charges in, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we'll catch it up after that. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to do the mix here. Just regular old water. All we want to do is get an inch above that bottle. So it's just an inch. Okay. That's, an inch. That's what she said. So let's find out how many gallons it takes. And this one? Two. Probably about another half gallon. Probably, right? Yeah. Actually, no, we want five inches of water in there. Go ahead, Tom. All right. So what is it, an inch or five? <laughs> yeah. A total of five. Can we go to the bathroom? <laughs> Which is three about gallons of water. Three gallons of water for that. Okay. Where's our indicator mark? <laughs> it's right there. You don't see it? <laughs> All right. Fill it up, Tony. So Five how much gallons. gas then? Five gallons or regular? Five gallons for this? Why yeah. do we have to have these safety Take gallons? it right off. Of 87? Yeah. Five gallons of regular gas. Hey, how about we so use question. C does how octane about we make C16, a difference? C16 racing gas. Yeah. I don't know. And... um. That's something we'll experiment with, but as far as I can tell, probably not. Whew. Yeah, but you know what? If we actually use the stuff designed for nitrous oxide, we'd actually get a nice blue hue out of it. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Well, eventually what we want to do is use alcohol to oh. color it. We can do that. Hey, we can even do the cherry flavoring so it has a smell. <laughs> Oh, wow, Tony. But they got, I mean, they got pina colada, the whole There we go. Man. We can, have like a we can sell better if you smell. Uh, let's see. Come on, Roma. Help them sell more food up there. I don't know if I'm ready to pass out. I sure <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm not up and close. I'm a little bit of the way, but man, that's got some, some kick. Anybody thirsty? Must be the cheap Pakistani gas, right? <laughs> All right. Now, we want to let it sit a minute so any gas that dripped on the outside dissipates. And then we're going to foil it um, to keep flames out and to keep it from evaporating. So when, they, when the lightning gets it, it better. Guys have said that they've seen these big 12 inches because they're so wide, it's evaporating like a couple of hours on really? a summer day. Yeah. Well, thankfully we got some overcast today. Yeah. A little wind, keeping it cool. So I'm actually putting folds in the foil 
so hopefully it'll pop like a jiffy pop and not send foil up in there. So this, hopefully it'll rip at these holes. It's an experiment. It's all an experiment. Get that film. Am I got a cell phone to turn on? You're actually using the expensive phone on the phone? Golfers, come on. Golfers, again? Back up! These holes are closed! We have high explosives! And gasoline. The kid picking up the ball. And... Good job of that tape. You know, you don't have to film the tape. <laughs> yeah. See, now that's going. That's definitely going. So okay. This, this is the six inch, and we're gonna put about three inches of water in here. So is there like an equation everyone figured out then, like a special formula that works the best, you're saying? Um, not so much with the water. There are formulas online in regards yeah. to the lift charge and the um, amount of fuel. So you have to have a certain amount of lift for a certain amount so of fuel. So the mixture is kind of just trial and error. As far as the water goes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, the water isn't all that critical. It's just a what they would consider a plug to force everything out. Okay. It also protects the lift charge on the bottom. Okay. And that's the only reason for it. So the actual heights can vary, and we're going to experiment with that. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, all these shots are going to be our baseline. So what's the gasoline amount in this one then? Since that was 12 and this is the 6, be half the amount? This two and a half gallons? Be, no, two gallons. Two gallons? Okay. Two gallons, Tony. Don't get it over two. Don't be under. We're going to calculate this by weight. Not more or less. Everyone watching this is going to judge you. Do you really think I care well? <laughs> oh, you're going to care. <laughs> Say when. When? It's like Maxwell House. Could be the last drop. <laughs> no, it looks like more. Go up to an inch to the top. Oh. Okay. Somebody's going to need to make a gas run. No, that's five <laughs> gallons. You hardly used any. No more? Nope. Looks good. All right, so that's your six. Wrap it up. So now, another experiment we're doing with the foil is what we're calling the Tootsie Roll Wrap. Wait, you forgot the bobber. <laughs> Projectile. Take me, Tony. Uh, twist the top. Yep, just twist the top. The whole idea is to have the foil not leave the pipe. Right. Yeah, this is my little fume. How those fumes, Tony? Pretty good, actually. <laughs> you actually have to tape the foil to the pipe. <laughs> twist it up like a titsy pop. Mm -hmm. do, they, do they secure those uh, black pipe tubes to the ground? No. No? That weight, pretty weighted, especially on the 12 inch over there. Just with him manipulating that thing was oh, like on that soft That one grass, was a little was, rocky. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what made me say that. It, it didn't look yeah. like it was real secure. It doesn't need to be. Well, what if it tips over and you got two gallons of gas contaminating the, the ground? Well, that would really suck. That shit luck for the chipmunks <laughs> in the area. But, you know, so, basically you anyways, want to that's have the it Tootsie on level right there. solid yeah. ground. Yeah. And right now it's sitting on the grass, so yeah, it will move around a little bit, but it's not going to tip over. That's why it has the base on it. And, you know, because it's an instantaneous shoot, it's not like it's going to shoot, flip over, and then shoot more stuff, so. It's not a cake. No. It's a Tootsie Pop. It's a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> <laughs> We're just using like an inch and a half of water. It's barely above the bottle. What's there in the bottom? And then Black Tony's powder charge. going to fill it up with gas to with an inch oh, of right, the top. okay. That's so so Tony actually won't get a headache from the fumes this time. 
No, not on that little puppy. <laughs> no, because I'm already high. <laughs> well, I, I like sense. Rob's description. That's a close proximity fire. That's hawk. right. <laughs> and that'll be it. So when we get done, we'll just show you how it looks, how it's got to set up, and then we'll show you so the fireballs going off. This one? Yeah. Um, gasoline fireballs. So the, four, the first one is a four inch out of a four inch tube. The next one comes out of a six inch tube. So it will be proportionately bigger. And then we're doing a sequence of three, four, six, and 12 inch all at the same time. So we can compare the relative difference in sizes between the four, six, and the 12 simultaneously. So to give you the first feeling, the first one's a four inch gas fire bubble. Here we go. That was a four inch size. Pretty impressive. The next one is the six inch size. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> and if you thought that was warm, well, I'm afraid Here comes the next the 12. one's a little toasty. So this next sequence, hang on, is is a combination of four inch, six inch, and 12 inch, all at the same time. Hang on, I'm gonna see what this is. Um, and they're separated by about 50 feet each on the ground. We hope they don't touch each other. We're trying to get a feeling for their relative size differences. John, <coughs> excuse me, look at the ring. Oh, perfect black ring to the left. UFO. Mm. UFO. Perfect. Okay, so on my count, Jeremy, let's do this. Three, on one, two, three, two, one. Oh, yeah! I think some of the, some of the crew likes those.